Hi YouTube, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make a seconds timer using a cycle relay circuit board and also a manual timer that times in increments of 15 minutes that you can purchase for around £3. The cycle timer is around £8. I'll just show you the anatomy now. So this is what the cycle relay circuit board looks like. It has an LED display here. This is the actual relay component. It's got three buttons and some wire connectors, three on each side. And you can see where things go by flipping it round and it'll give you a description of what wires go where. So I've done a little diagram for you so you can see where things go. So VCC means the red that is the supply to the relay. So it go, you need to use two adapters for this, a 12 volt adapter that provides electricity to the cycle relay, and also the adapter that you, you're going to use to power your utility, such as a misting system or a terrarium fan. Um, so the power to the cycle relay comes in on the left side. This is VCC, which means red. So that will be the red wire from your 12 volt supply. And this is your black supply which is denoted as GND. On the other side, you've got CK, which is the bottom one, that is your red going in. And that second one, which is COM, is your red going out. It also utilizes a trigger system, whereby you can plug a wire into the middle section here, which is denoted as IN, and this can work as a trigger so that you can stimulate the trigger and it will turn it on for a requisite amount of seconds that you can program into the cycle timer. Or you can purchase, a, what I'm going to use is just a wire that you connect to the actual live supply which will then cause the trigger. You can also purchase triggers that look, look like this, it's a little box with a red button on the top. And you connect this in through the middle section and also onto the live wire section, so you'll have two wires in that section, and then you just press the button and it'll stimulate the trigger. But it will all make sense when I tell you about the programs. I'm going to turn on the cycle relay now. You just need to connect your red wire to the top hole on the left, and the black one to the bottom one. Then you want to turn on. And there you go, it'll power on to the first mode that it's set to. So to cycle through the, the programs that it's got, you need to press these two buttons at the same time, hold them down, and then you can cycle through using the first button. So we've got P1, P2, P3, P4. I'm going to show you about P1 first, but I'm going to have to attach a wire in the trigger section, which is in the middle, to show you how this works. I'll just do that now. So now I've attached the trigger to the middle hole, I can turn the cycle relay on, press the two buttons down and then choose P1. So to choose P1 I press the middle button and this will come onto the time setting. So using this we can change the time that the cycle relay will allow the electricity to flow through it. So this is particularly handy if you want to turn an appliance on for a requisite amount of time such as a, a fan or a misting system. So we can change it by using the button on the right so that, that means now that it's seconds, so you can time for hundreds of seconds. The, the maximum amount of time you can program it to is 999 seconds, which is about 16 minutes. <clears throat> or you can change the decimal, and you can also time in milliseconds. And to change the value, all you need to do, press the middle section, and it will blink on the digit you want to change. So you can go all the way through the digits. So I'll set this for five seconds. So we'll turn that down to using this to cycle through the numbers. Turn that to zero, and the next one to five, and the next one to zero. And then just press the first button, and that will make sure that it's all set. So now all I need to do is just trigger the trigger by pressing it onto the live, and it'll turn on for five seconds. <clears throat> the buzzer's just programmed to tell you that it's on. So you just connect that again. 
that's quite handy if you know when you want the appliance to come on you don't want it to be timed it's just um, probably got good applications for greenhouses where you can see the weather's getting a bit dry and you want to turn it on just for a short amount of time you can just trigger it so that's P1 now I'll show you how to use um, the P3 setting which is an infinite loop you can turn it off on for a number of seconds and it'll go off for a number of seconds <clears throat> so the minimum amount of time that you can set it for is one millisecond and the maximum of time you can turn it on for is 999 seconds which is 16 minutes um, so this is the setting that you want to use if you was making an automated seconds timer for your misting system so I'm just going to power the circuit on you don't actually need a trigger for P3 which is quite handy so we're going to get it to P3 by holding down the first two buttons cycle through to the using the left hand button to P3 and then we're going to press the middle button for it to turn on when I press the middle button it will naturally buzz because it just flicks straight into that mode so to turn it off and disengage you just need to press that left button so I'm going to press the middle button it's going to bleed I'm going to press the left button and that will stop it from working and now we want to program the time so we're going to press the button on the right so this allows us to change the time that it's on for so we can choose like before you press the right button it changes where the decimal is so I'm going to put the decimal here and we're going to time it to come on for five seconds so we're going to use this button to choose which digit flick that to zero using the right button next digit five next digit zero so that's to come on for that amount of seconds now all I need to do is press um, this button and it will flick to the next setting but I might have to disengage it again by pressing that button so this is what time it goes off for so I'm going to time it to go off for 10 seconds for example it's going to use this button to cycle through the decimal point to, and then we're going to choose 10 seconds <coughs> there we go so that's on now press this button it will go on for five seconds off for ten seconds on for five seconds and then off for ten seconds so that's really handy to make a seconds timer so you can time it for a small amount of time it will go off for a maximum of 16 minutes and that will mean it will come on five seconds every 16 minutes and that's not what you'll want you want it to just come on once a day I imagine so this is where this analog timer comes in <clears throat> as you can see I mean these are about three pounds the digital seconds timers online cost around 28 so it's a significant saving if you can use a seven pound cycle relay in conjunction with this manual timer so with this we have four different increments within the hour so this is eight o'clock nine o'clock so you can set it for 15 minutes if you just put one of the triggers down and if you hook the cycle relay up up to this manual timer to come on for 15 minutes then it'll come on for five seconds and then you can choose nine, 999 seconds so it goes off for 16 minutes and by the time that would come back on the power will already be disengaged because this timer will have run out of its 15 minutes so it's quite a handy way of making a seconds timer so I'll show you how it works now I've got the P3 which is the automated seconds timer um, loaded up as soon as the power goes into this cycle relay it will kick start the P3 so I'm going to show you how this actually works in practice so I'm going to use um, this diaphragm pump as a misting system so I'll just try and zoom out a little bit there so I've got water in just there and then the water out going into this bowl now the misting system is a 24 volt DC diaphragm pump so it requires a 24 volt adapter now what I'd usually do is splice this wire by cutting it off and revealing the two wires which will be red and black and then connecting them 
red and black to the pump. But with the cycle relay, you don't actually do this. The red from the power supply connects to the bottom hole here, and then the red that's from the pump goes into the middle section here. And when the cycle relay triggers the electricity to power it, it connects the circuit. So it's basically a broken circuit that connects when you program what time you want it to come on to. So instead of splicing the wires, I'm just using a simple fitting which can separate my red and black. I don't want to cut this up because I'm not actually using this adapter, it's just for um, demonstration purposes. So the black from the pump goes straight in, straight connected to the black from the adapter, but the red is cut in half. The red attaches to the first hole and then the red from the pump goes into the middle hole. So I'll just show you this. I'll just connect these up now. I've connected that now. So we've got the diaphragm pump black wire going straight into the power adapter. We've got the red from the power adapter going into the first hole and then we've got the red which connects the pump to the circuit going through the middle hole. So if I turn this power on now then this will trigger the missing system to turn on. So let's um, just hold this a bit distance away. So I'm going to turn the power supply to the missing system on. That's on now, but because this is a broken circuit, it won't automatically turn on. But when we turn on the power supply, which is coming in here to the cycle relay, it'll automatically start for the set time of five seconds. So five seconds, 10 seconds. So I got the time setting wrong there, actually it goes off for 5 seconds then on for 10 seconds. So you just need to be careful of which time setting you're choosing. You can see here, the missing system comes on for 10 seconds and then off for 5 seconds in a continuous loop. Okay, so I'll turn that off now so it doesn't come back on. Um, just try and explain this to you as well. This. So what we do is, this is the power supply. This is the power supply to the cycle relay. So we just put this in the manual analog timer that can time into 15 minute increments. We've selected that it'll come on at eight o'clock for 15 minutes. And then as soon as that turns on, I mean, you can connect the you're probably better off using a block, a square block, um, dual plug adapter that you can insert both the power adapter to the misting system and the power adapter for the cycle relay to come on at the same time for 15 minutes. But of course, you'll have this already set, so it'll only come on for the, the amount of seconds that you want it to, and then just choose 999 seconds for the off period, and then as soon as the si 15 minutes runs out it'll turn off anyway so you've just timed it for that small amount of seconds so just a quick note on p3 sometimes when you turn the power on it will start with the time off rather than the time on um, so you wouldn't want 999 seconds because this would go over the 15 minutes that you've set with your manual timer you'd want 870 seconds which is for 14 minutes 30 if it was to come on for 30 seconds so to do this, all we're going to do is the same as we did last time. We're going to use this to get the um, decimal place. We're going to use this to choose which number we're going to change. So we're going to change it to 870. And then as soon as we cycle through with the middle button, it'll go straight to our on sign. We've got to deactivate it by pressing the left button. And we're going to cycle through. That doesn't need to change actually, so that's 30 seconds. So we'll turn it off. It'll remember everything that you've programmed it to. So we'll turn it back on. So it's chosen to go on for 870 seconds. So it can be quite temperamental for some reason. So we're going to change this again. Deactivate it using this. So I'm going to have to change this to 30 seconds. 
so it can be sometimes finicky so it's gone straight back to the off so this is the on now for some, for some unknown reason it's it's quite confusing We'll change this to 30 seconds. Then we'll change this to 870. So it takes a bit of fiddling about. Just going to disengage it using this cycle through the modes this is the on that's the off when you've finished just keep cycling through and it should start the timer if it doesn't you might have to turn it off and on a few times but generally it does work so turn it off then turn it on switch straight to this so all we need to do is press the left button and that will turn it on the left the left button just engages it and disengages it done. So I'll just show you P1 as well now. So I'm going to turn the power on now and it'll go straight into P3. So what we need to do is hold down these two buttons to get it back. Uh, well first of all we need to press this to disengage it and then hold these two buttons down to get the modes and select P1. So I need to do it quite quickly. There we go, right, P1. So we can turn this on. Now it's programmed to come on for five seconds. So we use our trigger and connect it to the live feed, which is the top button, and it'll turn the pump on. Actually, I forgot to turn on the misting system. So I'll put the power supply on. Right, it's on now, so when I add the trigger, on for five seconds. So I'll trigger it again. So you can see. There you go. Triggered for five seconds. Raw circuit board shouldn't be mixed with water. As soon as you put water on the live wire, it can be extremely dangerous and a massive fire hazard. So I'd recommend putting this well away from any misting parts or even your misting system uh, just in case any splashbacks occur and just try and connect it all into an enclosed box. You can buy junction boxes online. You can also get a splash proof case for this and I'll link this in the description below. So all the products that you need for this are all in the description. Uh, please like and share and I hope this helps um, your reptile keeping. So this is the system. I've got the misting adapter in one side. I've got the cycle relay power supply here. And I've got the manual timer on. And it is set to turn on for 15 minutes at 12 o'clock. I've got my cycle timer here in a little plastic container. And that'll turn the misting system on when the power goes to it for 30 seconds and then go off for 15 min 14 minutes 30 seconds. <clears throat> When it's finished, when it's due to come on again, this timer will have already finished, so it won't come on for that long. It'll just be 30 seconds at 12 o'clock, so I'll just override this. You can see, flip on, start counting down, and I've got the listening system producing this for the tank.